Like a little pups out, roam the property while we uh Oh my god. While we skin some pythons. Hi baby. Show you what we're working with today. A couple snakes to skin. A little light duty. Oh, and some in there too. Got a lot of work ahead of us. Luckily, I got my helper with me today. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put her to work. So today I'm gonna be skinning a python that was actually hit by a car down south. Took a little bit of damage on its belly uh, from where it was hit and a couple other spots, but it should be still good to make wallets and, and different products like that. Um, you know, roadkill or not, I'm gonna make use of it. I don't want it to go to waste. It's a big, beautiful snake. It's still good as far as the skin goes. So I'm gonna uh, do my best to salvage it. Chopping his head off. I'll be able to uh, make a cool skull mount out of this one because it's a nice size head. Have it articulated and uh, sell it as an educational display or something like that. Those are out. Yes, sir. I'll make a fine mount. Look at them teeth. Suckers will mess you up. Woo! First thing I'm gonna do is um, slice down its belly to kinda um, have it so it doesn't come off like a big sock. It can come off nice and neat. And um, hopefully a lot of the meat stays on the python when I do this. Now we're gonna prepare the neck for the old pull and peel. This is the easy part. The hard part's gonna be fleshing all this garbage off. Be here all damn day. Come on. A lot of meat coming with it. It's not what you want. You gotta be careful too. I don't want the meat to come with the skin. Um, it's a lot of extra work if I gotta try to scrape that meat off of the skin, which it, it happens a lot with these snakes, unfortunately, but you know, you just gotta kinda do your best to prevent it as much as possible. So since this python was hit by a car and kinda damaged, I'll need to carefully skin, skin it back, pull the skin back to the damaged areas. somewhere now and then from there I'm gonna use my uh, tracker ATV to hook up to the skin and carefully peel it off I don't want it to rip or, or damage it anymore She did have some eggs inside of her, a little underdeveloped, but I'm um, definitely glad she was taken out before they were able to develop more and she was able to lay them. Huh. Eggs, the start of eggs. I thought I felt some in there. And all of these little white things right here, those are just fat cells, yeah, fatty fat tissue years. Is that 
we got her out. So once the skin is off, the hard part begins. Now I gotta flesh it. I gotta peel all that extra meat off of the skin and I uh, use a special tool, but man, it takes a lot of just elbow grease and hard work. Um, very time consuming and uh, it, it'll wear you out. I should be able to make a whole bunch of products from this. Everything from wallets, bracelets, purses, uh, ladies long wallets, little card wallets, lighter cases, earrings. I mean, anything you can imagine I'll be making, especially because of how much material I have right now. This thing's gonna take a lot of salt. Oh God. Spider attacking me. Damn, that looks like a brown recluse too. That was a close call. Yeah, that's a brown recluse. He about to get dead. Once I got all the flesh off and it's down just to the skin um, and it looks good, I got all the membrane and everything off, uh, I sprinkle salt on it. Special uh, larger granule salt kind of uh, almost like an industrial uh, taxidermy salt. And I like to cover the whole skin with it and then roll it up and freeze it. Uh, the reason I use the salt is to keep it really clean, um, bacteria free, and to dry up and sanitize any leftover meat or membrane I missed. That's it. bundle it's great i was able to salvage this and uh have it where it doesn't go to waste even though it was technically roadkill um and that's what it's really all about you know um respecting these big beautiful creatures by by making use of them after death <laughs>